Hi, welcome to my channel Priya's Precious Plants. So this year I had a lot of tomatoes and I think I've shown all my previous videos with my huge large heirloom tomatoes and the Roma tomatoes. So I've decided that I'm going to can these tomatoes and I've already prepared the tomato mixture. These are the crushed tomatoes with its juice. I have already prepared that and now I'm going to show you the canning process. For the canning process, what you need is either pint size or, or quart size jars. I have these pint size jars and what you need is to wash the jars and their lids and the bands. All of them have to be washed in the dishwasher. It makes it easier to do it in the dishwasher and then you cool it and dry it. After you have dried everything, then what you have to do is you have to put the preservative and the preservative is one teaspoon, sorry, one tablespoon of lemon juice and salt for flavoring. And salt is also a preservative. So I'm using only a quarter teaspoon of salt. The recipe says half a teaspoon, but I like to add the extra salt with my recipes. So I'm just gonna use the uh, lemon juice. I've already put in this one, so I'm gonna show you that I'm going to measure it's going to be one tablespoon of the lemon juice and you pour it first into the jar so that you don't forget that you have already done it. You need to have that in the bottom and then here's your quarter teaspoon of salt. So this is, is the first step that I'm going to do. All right. So the next step is filling the jars with your tomato mixture. So I already started doing it. I've done these and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just to be on the safe side, use this plate so I don't spill all over. And you already have your lemon juice and salt. And so I'm just adding the tomato mixture. All right, so this is the last jar. I'm doing it. And you have to leave about half an inch from the top so that you don't overfill it. So these are my jars already. Hi, so the next step is that after you've filled up all the tomato, you have to clean the jar. You have to clean the rim and the side completely making sure there is no food particle at all. So for each jar, I'm going to clean it with a clean cloth, completely making sure there are no food particles. So I'm going to do that for all the cans, but I'm going to show you how I pick up the lid, place it on top, and then you pick up the lid, place it on top and then you take the rim and you just tighten it so you are preparing this so that this can go into the so kind of finger tight like this and this is going to go into my canning um, pot this is this is you, you there are professional canners but i don't have a canner so i'm using a stock pot filled it with water and these jars have to be completely submerged once the water is boiling then i'm going to put the jars in and i will show you that hi so this is the last step where we are going to actually put the 
cans uh, or your jars which are filled with all the tomato crushed uh, mixture and the preservative into the boiling water and you have to have the boiling water above the level of the can so i have my jar lifter unfortunately i don't have very big i don't have big uh, stock pots so i'm going to do it in batches and this is this is going to boil so each of this have to boil for 35 minutes because it says that for pint size jars it has to boil for 35 minutes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and close the lid and let it boil for 35 minutes once it's done then you turn it off you take your cans out you lift it with your can lifter take it out put it here make sure that it's on a uh, cloth clean cloth and you let it cool down and you should not have a draft of cold air on it because of course you know it has come from boiling water so if there's a cold draft it will all burst so you don't want to do that so this is the last step and then after that it's done you can put these cans in your pantry and they will preserve and you can use your tomatoes anytime homemade crushed tomatoes and canned